Welcome aboard Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. This $800 million ship was recently refreshed and upgraded. This week, I'm staying in a balcony room on the 11th deck in the front of the ship, courtesy of the Casino Royale. Let's get on board and check out this newly added room. For a short four-day cruise, this comped room was adequate size for two people. The couch was nice to hang out on while watching TV, which had a very adjustable mount so it could swing in any direction. This royal king bed had a USB plug on the side of the phone, but no plugs on the other side of the bed. It could also be split into two twin beds if requested. The makeup area had two extra USB plugs and a regular outlet, plus a European outlet as well. There was plenty of storage space and shelves for drinks, or in my case, a complimentary bottle of wine sent up from the casino. There's also a small safe and a closet that held enough storage for a short cruise. Plus, a mini fridge. The bathroom was small, but enough space to shower or shave without any issues. Unlike the larger suites I've stayed in, this one only had room for one person at a time. Now it's time to check out the best part of the room, the balcony. Regardless of what port we were in or where we were on the ocean, we had the best views of Long Beach, Catalina Island, and Ensenada. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to get immediate notifications when I release a new video. Click on one of these to see more amazing suite tours from hotels and resorts.